And good afternoon, everyone. It's Pete here from the Plain Talk Kit. Hope everybody's well. Um, doing another one minute video this afternoon with a lady I met uh, on social media called Ma uh, Marion Jones. And good afternoon to you, Marion. How are you today? Good afternoon, Pete. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, thanks very much, Marion, for taking part in the uh, one minute videos. You're the first person we're paying to actually do that, uh, to do the interview. So thanks very much for doing that. And, hey. uh, and I hope this will encourage other people uh, we're paying to actually do some uh, in these, or, these type of interviews with me. Yeah. So it's a one minute video. Right away, let's um, tell me whereabouts you are in the UK. I am in Hereford. Yeah. I think it's Hereford Rural in your name. And um, just on the border with Wales, really. You're, you're not far from the Wales, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. I, believe, I think I'll be going to come down here later on this year as well. Okay. So, I'm going to give you one minute to uh, tell the people who are watching the video the importance, why it's important to be, to do and to be involved with pain self-management. So, off you go. Okay. Pain management, you can't always expect the NHS, the doctors, the consultants to tell you what needs to be done. It's you that's suffering the pain. It's you that know how much you can do every day. And when I came off all the medication, I'd already been on a course which involved pacing. Now pacing just didn't go right with me at all because if something needs doing, I think I'll do it and I'll do it. But not anymore. I do so much, then when I know I've had enough, that's it. I'll do it another day. It's not worth making yourself in more pain than you already are. So that's a big one for me, the pacing. And the acceptance as well, acceptance of pain. I've still to learn that. you still to learn that, acceptance? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big, that was a big one for me back in the day. But, yeah. uh, but when I did, boy, oh boy, mate, I took off. <laughs> took off. <laughs> I did. So take a tip from me, get into it, you know. And, uh, so, what other things are important to you about uh, pain self management? Um, I do a lot of craft work. And it's only since I gave up work with this pelvic pain that I started to do craft work. And it just takes my mind off the pain. I can do a craft from the morning. I like to sew. If I can sit, I'll sew. If I can't sit, I'll find another craft to do. And that keeps me going. Yeah, I think a lot of people have told me over the years that they found uh, doing that sort of stuff distraction, really. And I and I've done it. I do it still now, I, I guess. Um, Distraction is a great way of um, not ignoring the pain, but just sort of taking your mind off it because you know what we can do at the time is tune into it, you know, which is, uh, which is it's like when you, when you get a cold, like, you know, when you, you know, when we get cold or feel a bit unwell, you tune into it, you feel it 10 times worse. So, yeah. so distractions involved. Yeah. Any other thing you do to, to self manage your pain? I go for a rate. Ian, um, chiropractor, very good at doing the pointing um, because it's the pain is in the pelvis. Then I do sit awkward, which puts my the whole body out really. So once a month, I go and have maintenance with him, yeah. and I feel a lot better afterwards. The muscles get very tight. Yeah. And do, uh, do you do any stretching and exercising? I don't. I can walk, um, not very far, um, but I don't do any exercising. I've never been shown how to do any exercise to do with the pelvic pain. Do you think that would be, um, be useful? Um, do you think that would be useful for you if you did some... I think it would, yeah. 
uh, perhaps I can hook you up with some um, there's some really nice uh, physiotherapists and physical therapists that I know from social media. Perhaps I can um, after the video I can send you some names that you I can hook you up with them, and you can have a chat with them about uh, what sort of stretches and exercise you you need to do, and perhaps. Um, you need to, I always say to people though, to try and rather than guess what you need to do is actually go and see a, a qualified chartered physiotherapist who specialises in pelvic pain. So right. they're, they're, giving, Maybe they're giving you the right ones for you, you know. They are very few and far between, unfortunately. Well, we're going to track, well, I'm, I'm going to help you track some down for you. <laughs> okay, that's your challenge. Fantastic. Okay, just stay there. I'm going to, I'm going to stop the recording in a minute. So I'm just going to say thanks very much for uh, taking part in the interview. You're the first of hopefully of many. So thanks very much and have a nice afternoon. And I'll speak to you soon. Take okay. care. Okay, Pete.